Welcome to YouTube Excel Lookup Function Series number two. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Lookup Function Series 1 to 15. Yeah, well, you're going to learn 15 different tricks for looking stuff up. In this number two, we want to see how to deliver a value to a cell. Yeah, we want to deliver from this table. We want to be able to put a product name here and deliver to this cell a price. So seven would be here. And here, a description. You might use this setup for an invoice. Now, what we want to do is, uh, in this video, we're going to look at not only the V lookup, not only how to retrieve something from a third column, but we're going to look at the column function. The column function. So that we can uh, don't have to type in a number uh, two for the second column or the number three for the third column when we tell the VLOOKUP function what to return. Now, I want to also add data validation to this. So in this cell, I want to limit what goes into this cell before I even create my VLOOKUPs. So I'm going to highlight this range right here. And I'm going to come up to the name box. And I'm going to name it. Uh, boom name, no spaces, enter. Now I'm going to click in this cell right here, and data validation goes to the data ribbon, and then this little button here for validation. In 2003 and earlier, you go to the data menu and data validation. The keyboard shortcut for data validation is Alt DL, and that works in 2003 and 2007. Alt DL. I'm going to say list. I'm going to click in the source. And what am I going to do? I already forgot what I named this. So I'm going to use the F3 key. And I'm going to double click my name, boom name. Click OK. Now there's a drop down. I'm going to say boom 4. Now what I want to do is create one formula that I can copy over that will do VLOOKUP from the second or third column. So I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. And I'm going to move this little screen tip right there. Hey, look, it says, what is the lookup value? The lookup value for us is going to be boom four, because we need to race down this column, find boom four, and then go over to the second and uh, third column here. Now I want to type a comma. The next part of this argument is table array. Hey, where is the lookup table? I'm going to highlight this. And don't you dare highlight the labels at the top, just the, the naked data, not the labels at the top. OK, that's the table array comma, now column index. We could type a 2 here, because in the price, notice this is column 1 of the table, the lookup table. This is column 2, and this is column 3. So I could put a 2 here, but I want to do a little trick here. I just want to type something in here that will automatically tell us 2 in this column, but 3 when I get to this column. So I'm going to use the column function, c-o-l-u-m, column. Now I need a 2 here and a 3 here. So I know that B1, the cell B1, is in column 2. So column always, whatever cell reference you put here, it tells you what column it is. Notice that's a relative cell reference. So when I actually copy, it'll go to C1, which is the third column. So that's a clever way of getting um, the price cell here to look at the second column of this little table, and then when it moves over to description to look at the third one. Comma, and we need to put either true for an approximate match or an exact match zero. We need an exact match because we have some letter, some words here. So I'm going to put zero, close parentheses, and that formula will work. Control Enter, and then I click and drag it over. And just to verify, I'm going to click in this cell right here and hit F2, no way. What did we forget to do? We forgot to lock. Look at that green box. It moved. So we want to click Escape. I'm going to delete this cell right here using the keyboard shortcut for delete, delete. And then I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. Now we need to lock this right here. So I'm going to put my cursor between the B31 and hit F4. And then I'm going to click right here in F4. Control Enter. And then click and drag. I'm going to click in this cell right here and hit F2. I'm going to click in that cell and hit a look up here, maybe. And sure enough, we can see that, oh, there's another mistake. We forgot to lock that, too. Don't forget, whenever you copy a formula somewhere, click in the last cell and hit F2. It saved us twice here. I'm going to click Escape, Delete. I'm going to click in this cell, F2. Oh, look at that. I'm going to click in this cell and hit my F4 key. 
once to lock it in all directions. I'm only copying it across the columns. Control Enter. Finally, maybe now I'm going to click it and drag over. Now I'm going to click right here and hit F2. I don't believe it until I F2. I can't see it there. But I'm going to look up here. Oh, yeah, it got the blue one there. It got the green one. It got the right table. It got C1, which is column 3, and a 0. Control Enter. Now, if you don't believe that little column thing, let's click in this cell and do Evaluate Formula. We can see how Excel evaluates this whole VLOOKUP. Evaluate Formula in 2007 is Formulas, Formula Auditing Evaluate. In 2007, it's Tools, Menu, Evaluate Formula. The keyboard shortcut is you hold Alt and then hit TUF for Tough. And then I'm going to hit Evaluate. Watch this. It'll look that up. Oh, look, there's Boom 4. Then I'll click Evaluate. Now it's going to look up the whole thing all at once. It doesn't even give us the pleasure. Oh, there it is, the 3 right there. I'm going to click Evaluate and run that again. There it's looking there. So it'll tell us what that is. Boom 4. And then here it's got the column uh, highlighted. So C1 converts when I click Evaluate to 3. And then it's going to do the whole thing because it knows what to look up. It knows that that's a 0. For exact, it knows that's a three column, so now it's going to look at that table and returns flying range is 60. So there it is. We do our data validation, select boom two, it says it's $30, the flying range is 20. We might even click in this cell, you know there's a keyboard shortcut for the currency format. It's control shift four, control shift four. All right, we'll see you next lookup function series.